Hi and thank you for purchasing the Virtual Studio 7 template pack. This project is compatible with Adobe After Effects version CS6 and above, as well as Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's take a look at how to customize it. First download the delivery zip file and make sure you unpack all the files before opening up the project. Inside the project folder you will find the After Effects version of the template and the Premiere Pro version. Let's open up the After Effects version first. Inside the project you will find the 00uChange folder, which contains all the editable elements and the 00 main composition, which is the main composition with all the scenes inside. So first let's open up the intro section. Double click on the intro composition to see all the elements. This scene has different parts and it has four image placeholders, four text holders, three ending image holders and a logo holder. You can see where each media appears on the timeline by following the included guide markers. For now we'll open up the first scene and add an image and change the text. To do that we'll double click on the scene 1 image and title 1. Select file import file, choose your media and drag it into the timeline. Delete or turn off the sample layers. You can press S to bring down the scale property and adjust the size if needed. To change the text, double click on the text layer and enter your own text. Let's see how that looks. Inside the intro scene you can also change the colors of the background. Open up the intro BG colors composition, select the colors layer and choose the Effect Controls panel. If you can't see the Effect Controls panel, press F3 to bring it up. Click on any color to change it. Now let's move on to the main scenes and we'll open up scene 08. Inside the composition you can choose between a desk or a table And in this particular scene, you can also choose between different window views. To add your presenter, double click on the talent composition, import your talent footage, and drag it into the timeline. To add an image or a video into the scene, open up the Image Angle Composition and add your media into the timeline. You can use images or videos. Next, let's move on to the lower thirds section. We have included two lower thirds and if you need more, you can duplicate them but please make sure to do that in the project panel. Select the composition and choose Edit, Duplicate. To change the text, simply double click and enter your own text. Let's also add a logo to the composition.
And finally, you can drag the lower third in the timeline of the main scene. The transitions work similarly, just choose one and drag it into the timeline like so. To render the project select the main composition and choose composition add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. The default preset Match Source High Bitrate will get you good results. You just need to click under the Output file to set the destination path of your video and then click on the green Play button to start rendering. Thank you for watching this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll take a look at editing this template in Premiere Pro.